Ain't nothing under it, right? Okay. All righty, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video on our 2018 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. This thing is a super beast. It's beautiful attitude black. In the last video, you did see us finally finish up the Heartbreaker Dent, and this thing is 100% closer to being done. But today, you know we like to lift them up. So what we're gonna do, our good friends at torchoffroad.com, they hooked us up with a three inch lift kit. So we got three inches in the front, two inches in the rear. It's gonna be fun because this thing has coal springs in the rear. Most of the Tacomas, Tundras, they've got the lease back there, but this one's got the coils. So we're gonna check that out. We're gonna check and see what we've got in the box. Torch always comes through, they always deliver. So let's see what we've got in the box and let's hop to it. All right guys, so we just opened the box and this was what was inside. We got our two front spacers, we got our two rear spacers, as always, they always throw in some stickers. We like those. And this is one of the cool touches I like about Torch. Check out that spacer. Got their logo on it so you know who it is. Next, we got our differential drop right here and our skid plate drop. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump over here. We're gonna measure the rake of this 4Runner. And then after we get this installed, we'll remeasure and see where we're at with our lift. So let's get on that right now. So we're hoping that we get the front of this thing up just a little bit. We put our big heavy bumper on and our 13,000 pound winch. And you can see that it pulled us down just a little bit. So we for sure want this front back up. So let's see where we're at. The center of the wheel to the bottom of the fender flare is 34 and a half. So 34 and a half up front. Gonna go ahead and check the rear, see where we're at. So we're supposed to be three up front, two in the rear. So let's see what we got when we get started. From the center of the wheel, to the bottom of the flare is 36 and three quarters. So 34 and a half up front, 36 and three quarters at the rear. We're gonna see where we're at when we're done. So we've got a couple of jacks, got a couple of jack stands. That's all you need to put this kit in in your own garage. So we're gonna get it jacked up. We're gonna get these wheels took off. We're gonna get it put on stands. Let's hop to it. Let's get it done. Alrighty guys, we got it all jacked up. We got everything on these jack stands. And what we gotta do now, get ready for this lift kit, is we're gonna have to take a few things loose. We probably always start out with the sway bar link right here. So we'll take this loose on both sides and see if we can swing it down out of our way. And then we'll take our ABS, you know, our wheel speed sensor, we'll get all that off. And then we'll probably take on the driver's side and the passenger side when we get over there, we'll take the tie rod in loose from the steering knuckle to kind of let our steering knuckle give us a little bit of room left to right. And then we're gonna separate the steering knuckle from the upper control arm, which is gonna give us enough room to take the bolt out the big strut. And then we'll take these three, these three right here will come off. The big one in the middle, don't ever touch the big one in the middle. So we'll get those off, get the bottom off, We'll get the sway bar link off, separate the steering knuckle right here, separate this rack and pinion from the steering knuckle here, swing that out of the way and get our strut out. So that's a lot to say, and it's also a good bit to do, but it's not bad, it's not bad. So let's start on it. Let's get all this stuff taken apart and let's get it out of here. Get these spacers put in and get her shoved right back in.
All right, guys, we got the one side in. Everything went 100% perfect. We had no issues at all. Everything is right back together. With the exception of the sway bar and the sway bar end links, we're gonna leave that sucker loose till we get the other side done. But that was really easy. We're gonna, we're gonna try to get the other side, get it done in about 30 minutes and jump on the back. So we'll catch you on the other side. All right, guys, we've been working like crazy. We're making 100% record time. This Torch off-road lift kit is going in with the easiness that we knew it would. It's gonna be a quick, quick install. So while we're up here, we got the front all together. Everything went together perfect. We got everything in, the spacers are in, everything is tightened back up 100%. So while we're here and while we're up front, we're gonna go ahead and install a differential drop. And I had already took out previously while I was working on the front bumper, I took out the skid plate. So we're also gonna put that thing back. We got our spacers together. We got our big bolts together. So it'll take just a minute. This is really, really easy. So we're gonna jump under here. We're gonna drop this differential down just a little bit, put our skid plate back on, put our tires and wheels back on and jump on the back. So what we're gonna do is really easy. This is probably the easiest part of this whole install. We got a 22, we're gonna hit it with an impact. We're gonna drop this down, put this little spacer in. So we're gonna put this little spacer right there. So we're gonna do it on both sides, here and here. Don't even think that we're gonna to have to bring the transmission. I don't think we're gonna to have to bring the transmission down at all. But if we do, I just drop it down a little bit. But we got a front skid plate out. We're gonna put it back in when we get these put in. So let me go ahead and loosen those up, let it drop down, put the spacers in, put the new bolts in, and we'll be done with that. Easy job, here we go. Alrighty, we got that differential drop put right in. What that does is it lets the differential down to line the CV joint back up in the axle so we don't wear them out. So we got all that done. We put the skid plate back on. That fit just perfect. I did have to loosen up the one on the transmission just a little bit to let it scoot down. Put those big spacers in. We got that done 100%. So now we're gonna jump to the back. We're gonna put these big spacers up on the coils at the back. So we're gonna to hop to that, it shouldn't take very long. We're making record time. 
So let's hop to it and let's get it done. We got the back jacked up. We got it on some stands. Still got the jack under it for support. So we're gonna take this brake line loose and take the sway bar loose. Gonna probably take the shock loose right here. Probably do that on both sides because here's our cool spring way back in here. So we gotta, we gotta let it down enough to get the cool spring out. And I'm gonna have to take the sway bar in link loose. So might just tackle it right here on this side since that's so close, but I don't know. We're gonna take that loose, gonna take that loose, gonna take the shock loose at the bottom. And then we're gonna try to let this sucker down, get that out, put it right back in. Be really easy, so let's hop to it. And let's get it done. So alrighty, what we did, we got everything put back, put our sway bar back, put our brake line back, and then we got our block mounted up in there. It's it's a little bit tricky. You almost need an extra set of hands, not gonna lie, a little bit tricky, but you can just get it right in there, tighten it right up. We got it back in there, everything's together. We're gonna put the wheel on, we're gonna let it down, we're gonna measure it and see what we got. Alrighty guys, we got this thing back on its wheels. It's back on all fours. We're gonna measure this again and see how much we come up. If I remember right, it's been a minute. I think we was 34 and a half up front before we started this lift. So let's see where we're at now. We measured it from the center of the wheel. We measured it from the center of the wheel to the bottom of the flare. So from the center of the wheel on the floor to the bottom of the flare, we were 34 and a half. And now we're 37 and a half, three inches up front, which it, it stands up a lot better, a lot better. So we're gonna measure it back here at the rear to see where we're at. Before we started, before we put the spacers in the back, which we measured it out, it was 36 and three quarters from the floor up the center of the wheel to the bottom of the flare. So let's see where we're at now. From the floor up the center of the wheel to the bottom of the flare. 38 and three quarters. So that's two inches at the rear, three inches at the front. It stands a lot better. So let's pull it outside, have another look and see what we got.
Alrighty guys, man, check this forerunner out. It is absolutely amazing. We've been saying for a long time it's a super beast. It really is a super beast now with the three inch lift kit from torchoffroad.com. You just can't beat it. Everything fit just exactly like it was supposed to fit. The little extra time that they take and put the little torch logo, even on the spacers that goes on the skid plate, it's just taking that little bit of extra time to make things look really good. This kit is 100%. Like I said, everything went together perfect. Torch is always second to none. The shipping is 100% on point. We really like dealing with them. A couple of videos ago, I'll link it up above. We bought a front bumper from them and we got that put on. We got a big winch on this thing. It's ready to hit the trail. Do think that that's gonna be a wrap for today's install video, guys. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at Real Orange Wires. We always post there before YouTube. If you like this video and you like this content, drop us a like, leave us a comment down below. We'll catch you guys next time. We're out.